Ezio! It is time, uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy, and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The Codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. It's a map of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered. Or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The paper staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does... If he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What of the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. Roma beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart.
There! On him! But no! Andiamo! Just be ready to run. Time is right. Hiding place, this. Let's go! There! There! Get him! Strozo! This day is your last. You wanna fight?
Credo in unum Deum, Patrem Omnipotentem, Factorem Celi et Terrae, Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium. Et in unum Dominum Jesum Christum, Filium Dei Inugenitum, et ex Patre Natum ante Omnia Saecula, Deum... beyond this, but I'm not. I've waited too long, lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. Resist! I see. Kind of you to bring me the apple. Now give it to me! Why a farty for today? <laughs> Always the fighter. Just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child. For you will see him again soon. You will give it to me. As you wish. Fascinating. An impressive power, this. But if you think it's going to save you, another thing coming. No, you will not take this from me. It's finished, Rodrigo. Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Ezio? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? Why don't we find out? At last. And now, to deal with you. You open. It's over, Rodrigo. No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let us see what you are made of, old man. All right then. If that's how you want to play it. What do you even want with the vault, Rodrigo? Don't you know what lies within? Or do you mean to tell me the great and powerful assassins didn't figure it out? Figure what out? God. It's God that dwells within. You expect me to believe that God lives beneath the Vaticano? A more logical location than a kingdom in a cloud, don't you think? Surrounded by singing angels and cherubim. 
makes for a lovely image. But the truth is far more interesting. Let's say I was to believe you. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? I don't care. It's not approval I'm after. Just power. And you think you'll give it up? Whatever lies beyond that wall won't be able to resist the staff and apple. They were made for filling gods. God is meant to be all-knowing. All-powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators from an ancient book. A book, mind you, written by men. You are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave me access. It gave me power. Do you think I believe a single goddamn word of that ridiculous book? It's all lies and superstition, just like every other religious tract written over the past 10,000 years. <laughs> family back. I'm done. Nulla è reale. Tutto è lecito. Requiescat in pace. We were strong, 
But you were many, and both of us craved the war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. You were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice. Strength. Compassion. But we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now, we are dying. And time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us, to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short. And guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. <laughs>